In this video, I'm gonna share with you six secret websites that are gonna help you grow your small YouTube channel. My goal by the end of this video is to share some new websites that you have not heard of so you can start to explode your growth here on YouTube. The first website, LinkTwin. If you are sharing links to your YouTube video like this, you are making a massive mistake and you're losing views and subscribers. Doing this leads people to YouTube in your phone's browser, not the YouTube app. Why is this a problem? People now have to go out of their way to subscribe to your channel, like your video, comment on it. Let's be honest, ain't nobody got time for that. Do this instead. Hey Siri, are you subscribed to the YouTube channel? Hmm, I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can help with? Wrong. Copy the link of your YouTube video and go to this website. Paste the link and copy the brand new link that is generated. Use this link to share across all your social channels, in your Instagram bio, your Instagram stories, your TikTok bio, Facebook, wherever else. Now people can watch your videos inside the YouTube app and easily subscribe to you, like your video, and comment on it. Number two, rayhollister.com. This one's gonna blow your mind. One of the biggest issues I see most YouTube channels facing is with their YouTube shorts, and it might not be what you're thinking. When most people make YouTube shorts, oftentimes the graphics, text, or anything they edit into the video gets cut off and you can't see it. This will lead to people swiping away from your video and not even watching it because they can't even enjoy it. I have a solution that will fix all of this. Go to rayhollister.com and download the template. Take this template and overlay it onto your footage when you're editing your shorts. What this does is it acts as a guide for you for when you put text on the screen, when you put graphics, so you can ensure that you don't overlap and you don't spill anything over and people can have a pleasant viewing experience on your shorts. And yes, I guarantee you, this will get you more views. Number three, textcortex.com. Knowing what you want to create for your next video is a crucial part of growing your channel. One of the problems small channels face is being able to package that information for their next video. TextCortex is a phenomenal website to help conceptualize any idea you have for your next video and come up with a script for your video or to simply express your thoughts and talking points. For example, let's say I'm a cooking channel wanting to make a YouTube video on pumpkin ravioli. That actually sounds really good. Simply type that in, and now it will prompt you with further questions to help you as fast as possible from creating a recipe for the video or simply how to film the video. Yes, this is similar to ChatGPT. However, you can choose the type of persona you want your video to have and tailor it to how you want to speak. I highly recommend play around with different ideas, different topics, different concepts you have for a video because it can be pretty fun. Number four, Google Trends. Trend jacking is a term I'm sure you've heard us say on the channel. If not, you should definitely check out this video right here. It's a great strategy for you to take advantage of trends happening within your niche. Now, how do you find what's trending so you can take advantage of these trends? Google Trends. For example, iOS 17 just dropped. Right now, there is a ton of attention, a ton of interest because it's brand new. What I love about Google Trends is you can type in any topic, any idea, anything you want, and you could see its level of interest right now and over time. That way you know if this is something people are interested in and you can make a video about it. And you can take advantage of things that are happening right now and capitalize on it. Number five, answer the public. One of the biggest issues small YouTubers face is knowing what content to make next or what their first video should be. I have a solution for you that's gonna give you endless content ideas at the click of a button. Go to answerthepublic.com. From here, you can type in any keyword based on the content you wanna create and or what your YouTube channel is about. Let's say for example, I'm a gaming channel and I wanted to make a video on Minecraft. I actually don't think I've ever played that game. Now I can see all the highest searched questions and videos regarding specific questions about Minecraft and create content around these. This shows me that people are interested in this question or it's something that people are searching at a really high volume. Or maybe you're a cooking channel and wanting to create something around sushi. Do the exact same thing. Type in anything you want to make around sushi, a recipe, a style of roll, whatever that is. And this is not just for gaming or cooking channels, it's for you. Whatever your channel's about, whatever content you want to create, you can find all the questions that people are searching and make content on it. Before we get into the last and final website, I'm going to give you a bonus one. TubeBuddy. If you want to get more subscribers, get more views, and grow your YouTube channel, check the first link in the description. Download TubeBuddy's free, yes, completely free browser extension. Let me give you the, the final website, then download it. Number six, HotPod. 
We all know a photo is worth a thousand words, but how much is a thumbnail worth? One of the biggest issues most small YouTubers face is having terrible thumbnails. I'm not even talking about bad thumbnails. I'm talking terrible, terrible thumbnails. They have little to no effort in them. They make no sense with the video and ultimately they're getting you no views. Well, that stops here. Hotpot is a great website for you to generate YouTube thumbnails with their templates. And you can select from a wide variety of designs for you to start creating thumbnails that people actually want to click. Yes, having a thumbnail is important for getting a higher click-through rate, more watch time, more views, but ultimately growing your YouTube channel. Your thumbnail is the first impression people will have on you. And that first impression is one that you wanna make count. You can either count on succeeding or you can count on failing. And the difference between that is having a thumbnail that people actually want to click on. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, make sure to hit subscribe here. And if you haven't yet already, I made a video talking about some of the most common mistakes I see small channels making that is causing them to lose. Yes, lose. Subscribers, you can check that video out right here and I'll see you there.